Alright, let's see what's going on here. Language barrier plagues hospitals. Many hospital patients who have limited ability to speak English and who need a translator don't get one, which puts them at risk for poor and sometimes life-threatening medical care, an analyst in today's New England Journal of Medicine says. From 1990 to 2000, the number of residents with limited English uh, grew from 7 million to 21 million, or an 8.1 percent of the population according to the U.S. Census figures. Yet one study showed that no interpreter was used in 46 percent of the emergency emergency department cases involving such patients, says Glenn Flores, uh, an expert on language barriers in health care, who based his conclusion on his own studies and those done by other researchers. Only 23 percent of teaching hospitals offered physicians trained in how to work with interpreters, he said. Lack of interpreter translates into improper health status lower likelihood of being given a follow-up uh, appointment, greater risk of hospital administrators, um, uh, hospital admissions, and more drug complications, says Flores, a professor at the Medical College of Wisconsin-Milwaukee. In other words, demand surge for translators at the medical facilities. Well, good. That means we've got jobs for those uh, illegals that for the children that are being born in this country who will be bilingual. So anyway, it goes on. Um, and in a case that cost Florida Hospital a $71 million malpractice settlement, he said an 18-year-old who uh, said that he was intoxicated, which can mean nauseated, spent 36 hours being treated for drug overdose, but doctors uh, realized he had a brain aneurysm. Uh, he also cites the case of a seven-year-old girl with an ear infection whose mother told uh, by a poorly translated interpreter uh, to put an oral antibiotic in her daughter's ears. In another case, a two-year-old who fell off a tricycle was taken from the mother by a social worker because the doctor misinterpreted the Spanish word se pego to mean I hit rather than she uh, hit herself, Flora said. Alright, well look, I have very little compassion for these uh, these people that, and obviously this is Hispanic, and this is, this is the thing. Look, I'm Italian descent. My people came from Italy. My grandfather and grandmother, they came over from uh, Italy in a boat. The boat stopped at Ellis Island. They went through it the right way. They did their, their paperwork the proper way. My grandfather was proud to be in this country. He loved this country. He didn't come over to this country to see what he could get so he could run back to his country and live like a king. No, he believed in this country and the freedoms and, and, and everything that his children would have, not what they could take from this country. And I'm getting sick and tired of what's going on because that's, that's what's happening. Our America, the America that you and I grew up with, if you're, if you're as old as I am, you know, the, our America is disappearing, and it's disappearing because our government's looking the other way and letting these people sneak into our border, and they're going, oh, we're taking care of it. We sent troops down there. Oh, we're doing this, we're doing that. They're not doing shit. They're not doing a fucking thing. Wake up, smell the coffee, whatever it is you got to smell. You know it as well as I do. Now, these people are sitting there, they're, they're, they're getting malpracticed because somebody didn't know what they were saying. Do you think if you or me went over to another country and something was happening to us and they couldn't understand what we were talking about and they cut off a limb, just use that as a loose example, they cut off our arm or whatever, um, and, and it wasn't our arm because obviously that wasn't the problem, do you think that they're going to give us a 71 million dollar malpractice suit, they're going to go, fuck you, we couldn't understand you. Okay? This is bullshit. I'm sick and tired of it. it I mean, this, this, this whole system, everything that's going on is, is based on our government, our political leaders looking the other way and letting our country become saturated with illegals that are coming up from, from wherever. Okay, I'm not gonna, just going to limit it to Mexico, Mexico, El Salvador, Guatemala. I mean, you could go through the whole checklist. They're coming into this country. I'm sick of it. 
and and you know so so what so so it, learn a language get your fucking kid to come in with you when you go to the hospital something but instead we gonna we're, we're gonna take and we're gonna put a spin on it that the hospitals are are wrong or bad because they don't have interpreters are you fucking kidding me seriously we're blaming the hospitals because we got this this influx of all these Hispanic speaking people, Spanish speaking people, excuse me. Are you kidding? Seriously. Okay, so so if we really want to look at it in a realistic aspect, then I guess every major city has to have a translator that speaks every language that, that uh, whatever group of people are in the surrounding areas, they should have a translator for everyone, right? Right. That's fucking crazy. Okay? This is just bullshit. I'm sick and tired of it. If you want, if you got a take on this, hey, themadmarkshow.com. You send me an email, madmarkshow at AOL.com. You can catch me on iTunes, on uh, uh, go to iTunes and, and look up. It's free. You can download the Mad Mark Show. And, of course, you can always catch me on pirateradio.com. Give me your take on this. I don't care. I don't care if you think I'm out there. Fuck it. This is my opinion, and I'm not the only one. I talk to a lot of people. We're all thinking the same thing. I'll be back.